Okay everyone, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to add a video to your Wix website in 2021. So all you have to do right now is just log into your Wix account and go to your website and go to the Wix editor. Alright? When you are in the Wix editor, we're gonna go to the left and we see all of these buttons. We want to click on this plus sign, add. Click on that. And this will open up a uh, left sidebar right here. And we want to go to this one, video and music. Click on that. And under video, we see that we have multiple options. We have single video player, we have Wix video, video box, video mask, and transparent video. But in this video, we are just gonna focus on single video player. Under single video player, we see that we can choose uh, video upload from your computer or we can choose from YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook and Dailymotion. In this video, we're gonna focus on upload from our own computer. So all we have to do is just click on video upload and drag it to your website, like so. So now we can change the size if you like. So if you want to change the size, we can just go and click on this uh, corner and drag it like so. And this will make your video player bigger. So let's say I want to have it at this size. So now we want to go and upload a video from our computer. So just go to this button, click on change video. This will give you this pop-up, video settings. Make sure to have this checked, your computer. And after that, just go and click on change video. All right, so you can choose the video from right here or if you don't have any yet, just go to this one, upload media. And now we got this pop-up. We can click on upload from computer or drag the file into this box or choose one of these options like Google Drive and things like that. In my case, just go and click on upload from computer and choose your video and click on open. I already have uploaded my video. So after you have uploaded your video, just go and click on the video. And then we can go down to the bottom and right corner and click on add to page. And now we see that we have a new video right here. Now we have some options we can choose from. We have playback options. So we can choose auto place. That means it will auto play when your visitors come to your website automatically. Notice that uh, the video will start to autoplay it on mute. So if the visitors want to hear the sound, they have to turn on the sound on the video. So I'm just going to choose uh, no for autoplay. We also have plays in loop. That means after the video is done, the video will start over again. Okay. We also have video description uh, because uh, search engines cannot uh, see what's in the video, but they can read all text. So if you add the description of what's in the video, you have a good chance to rank better in search engines. So if you want, just add a description on what's in the video. So that's it for video settings. After that, we have some options. We have layout. In layout, we can choose to add show video title. And we can add a video title right here. You can add your own video title. If I go to the video, we can now see that you have your video title right here. We can also change the play button size. As you can see, the play button size gets bigger and smaller. So I want to have it at 55, like so. And after that, we also have this option when playing controls show on hover. That means when I hover over this video, video controls will show up in the bottom of this video. If I click on never, they will only see the play button and pause button. All right. So I'm going to choose on hover. After that, I'm going to go and click on X and we're going to go to uh, design. So design you can play around with because you can make a million different uh, designs for this uh, video player. But the options you have is fill, color and opacity, border, shadow and text. So let's play around with border. So first we have opacity and color. So let's say I want to have a different color uh, from the background color. So let's say I want to have white and I can go and add the width. If I make it bigger, we see that I get the white border around this one. 
I can also make it more transparent like this. So let's say I want to have it at 96, like so. When we are satisfied, just click on X. And after that, we also have this nice feature animation. We can choose none, but we also have bounce in. As you can see, we see uh, the result directly, so we can see what kind we like. We also have float in, expand in, spin in, and so on. So let's say I want to have float in. If you want, you can also customize this float in if you want to have your own kind of float in animation. But I'm satisfied with this default float in. After that, I'm just gonna go and click on X. So when you're satisfied with your layout, design and animation, we can just go and have a preview. Just go to the top right corner and click on preview. Now we can see that the video is floating. We have a border, we have the title and we have play button. If I click on play button, this will start the video. And when I hover, we see that we have the video controls right here. And also one good thing is that uh, this video is responsive. That means if you go up to the top left corner and click on switch to mobile, we can see how this will look on a mobile phone like so. So as you can see, we have the video uh, responsive. It gets smaller on smaller devices. So that's awesome. You don't need to think about anything. We can just go back to uh, switch to desktop like so. And also, if you don't uh, like anything of your changes, just go back to the top right corner, click on back to editor. And now you can just go and click on the video and you will get all of these options. One more time, we have layout, design, animation. So let's say I want to change the animation. Let's click on animation. And maybe I want to have spinning like so. Let's go and click on X. And let's say I want to add some shadow to this video. We are just going to go into uh, the sign and then we have this pop up and we're going to go and click on this one shadow and now we're going to click on enable shadow. So now you can go and just play around. Uh, we can go down and add a shadow color. So let's say I want to have a white shadow color. We're going to go and click on X and we're going to increase the blur. We're gonna increase the size like so. As you can see, we now have a shadow behind this uh, video player. And we also have the distance, like so. And if you want to change the angle, we can go like this. We can increase the distance, decrease the size. So just play around until you find the perfect settings for your shadow, like so. Click on X and now we can just go and click on this one preview. Now you can see that the video spins in and we also have this white shadow. So all you have to do is just play around. If you don't like your settings, just go back to editor and remake your uh, animation, layouts and design. Okay everyone, so comment below if this uh, worked out for you. Also. Go to the description below uh, to check out my full Wix tutorial playlist for more of these tutorials. If you like this one, subscribe for more of these videos. Have an awesome day, take care and bye.